morning. I hope everyone's having a good whatever time of day you're watching this. I'm gonna make sourdough whole wheat pancakes. Um, I've had a really nice productive morning. I've already put a load of laundry on. It needs to be switched over. I've cleaned my whole kitchen like 98% of the way. I have a couple more things to do. And now I'm just gonna make breakfast. So I will link the recipe that I am using, but I will also link how I do it because I do half a recipe and then I make quite a few changes to it. So it's not exactly half of everything. So I'm gonna note everything that I do different and you can make it too. I have found in my little bit of time, because I still think with whole wheat that I've been like freshly grained, freshly milled grain, I thought it was gonna be a lot harder to like switch everything over. And there are definitely some differences, but it hasn't been that hard in my opinion. So I'm just gonna start putting out recipes of sourdough whole wheat stuff because I think that while whole, like freshly milled whole grain is healthier for lots of reasons. Um, I also believe that in the olden days that they were still using sourdough, like commercial yeast wasn't around until I think the late 1800s. And so that's a long time to not have that little packet of stuff. So I still feel like the best thing is still sourdough, getting rid of that lactic acid and stuff like that. So I just wanna do recipes that are both sourdough and freshly milled. So let's get to these pancakes. So into my grain mill that you see me hooking up here, I'm putting in two thirds a cup of wheat berries plus like a tablespoon extra because in the KitchenAid grain mill, sometimes the wheat berries get left over at the bottom. It's probably user error, but then I finished making my coffee from this morning and just to enjoy it while I'm baking. I like to do that with, I put some raw milk and some coconut sugar in it. And then in this silver bowl right here is my flour. And I'm going to start with just a cup of the flour, which is half of the recipe. And later I add some more if I feel like the texture needs it. And then I add half a cup of sourdough discard. One egg. Three quarters of a cup of milk. I add three tablespoons of sugar. This is raw organic, just cane sugar. I'm pretty sure sucanat would work just fine or coconut sugar if that's what you used. This is more than the recipe calls for, but I like my pancakes a little sweeter, so that's what I added. Then you're gonna add two tablespoons of some kind of oil. I would suggest olive oil. Here I used butter. Coconut oil would be great. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you want to mix all of that together before you add the rising agents. And I'm not so sure you can see the texture quite right on here, but it is really runny. You can see it's not even picking up on my dough whisk. So I actually end up just adding the rest of the flour, which I think was a cup, if not it was close to it. So even though I halved the recipe, I still used the whole amount of flour that the recipe called for. I just added it a little bit out of time, at, at a time. So I'm not sure if that's a freshly milled thing or a preference thing, but if you're using freshly milled and you like a thicker batter, then I would suggest to do that because that's what I've had to do every time I have made this. So you can kind of see it's picking up more there on the whisk, which is what I like to see. Then after that, you're gonna add in the rising agents at the last minute. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why every recipe calls for this at the last minute. I don't know if it 
stays the most active, but it, I did add half a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder. And then I mixed all of that in before I went to bake it. Now let's remember to get the full benefits of sourdough helping with digestion. You need to let whatever batter it is sit for eight to 12 hours on the countertop. Normally I would have put this together the night before, but I honestly just decided to film this this morning and I want pancakes. So I am just gonna go ahead and bake this even though I just talked about in the beginning how I believe in sourdough with fresh milled whatever, but you can, if I was doing this, then I would either make it the morning or the night before and set it in the fridge until the morning I was ready to bake. But right now, we're just gonna go ahead. Ignore my dirty table back there. Let's try it, even though I've made this many times already. But. <laughs> it just spilled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very good. I'm surprised, at least with the soft wheat, how you can't really even tell it's like a whole wheat pancake in the era that I grew up, which was 90s America. Whole wheat, like we were told it was better, but it didn't taste better and the texture wasn't great. So this, now soft wheat is lower in protein. So I don't know what it's like with a hard wheat that would give you more protein content, but it still has protein in it and it's still, can help my breakfast like balance with my macros if that's something that you pay attention to is trying to make sure you get enough protein in. So for now, it's enough. I'll probably at some point play around with a hard red or maybe hard white and see how that does. Anyway, so soft white is what I used because it's lighter and fluffier. So it's very good that way. And if you try it, let me know. And if you have questions, let me know that too, because I know that I'm new to YouTube. And so I probably miss a lot of information that would be helpful. And if it's in the comments, especially right now, cause I don't have a very lengthy comment section on any of my videos. So people can like go and look and maybe find answers to questions that they have. So that would be great. And I hope you have a good rest of your day and that you come back for more at another time.